As my teasers are just on another level. Missed opportunity for a next level joke. But truly the promotion for their lead single drama has not disappointed with the girls pictured as giants, portrayed as actresses and so on. Naturally, I've been keeping up with all this and I've been at the edge of my seat just waiting and craving for this type of style and sound from Aespa to make a much needed return to their previously established concept. So I am incredibly excited to check out drama with you guys today from Aespa's new EP of the same name. Oh. Stray Kids also had a comeback today. I wanted your guys' opinion because sometimes there are multiple major comebacks on the same day. And I always wonder, like, would it be fun if I did, like, a battle of the comebacks? Like, maybe it's not too late. Maybe we could do it for this video. I don't know. But if we did, like, Stray Kids versus Espa, you know, and we review both music videos in the end, we share which one I prefer. I don't know. But on that note, why does this part in Stray Kids La La La, la sound like Hong Jung from ATs? <laughs> Do you hear it? Or am I just delusional? Stay teeny crumbs though? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Now, of course, the last time we saw Espa was with Better Things. And previous to that with Spicy, they got to experiment with some fun summer concept changes, which left a lot of people wondering if they were leaving behind their darker storyline. What even happened to I Espa? The fame literally changed them. I mean, I did definitely love their songs like Black Mamba, Next Level, and even Savage. But oddly enough, it's since the release of Spicy that I've really gotten into Espa watching a lot of their content, getting really more into their music. Music. So you guys have no idea how much I was anticipating this. And the mini album actually, which features six songs, Drama, Trick or Treat, Don't Blink, Hot Air Balloon, YOLO, You, and of course Better Things, is apparently building off of their previous narrative. Now, of course, we've already mentioned that they took a fun little break for the summer to experience fun summer things. But Espa is now, quote, breaking out from the trauma caused by a series of events with season one's sink out and hallucination quest, and also the unknown anomalies in season two. So let's take a look at the music video. The music video starts off by welcoming you to drama and asks you to follow a set of rules. So number one, look back immediately when you feel a presence in the dark. Number two, if your reflection in the mirror tries to shake your hand, do not let it. Number three, light can blind your eyes, run away at full speed. And most importantly, the number four rule is that all of the above was a lie. The only way to escape is by doing the opposite. So of course we're just coming out of Halloween season and maybe that's actually a good thing so you don't specifically associate drama with Halloween, you associate drama Drama to its own timeline, but I'm loving the creepy vibes right off the bat. We then get met with these creepy brain tingling instrumentals. And we get to join Espa in their dramatic red carpet stage. With the main theme of the music video, of course, that Espa is the drama. Karina's first line sent me into a coma. And the way the choreography was filmed really added to the creepy vibes. Especially in the second verse. I don't know, maybe it was because I was half asleep, but I was like, are those like CGI dancers? Like, it's just the movements felt a little creepy. You know how sometimes in music videos, they'll play the song at like half speed or something. And then you have to perform the song at half speed. And then in the final music video, of course, it's at full speed. So then your movements look a little unnatural, look a little weird. That's what it kind of reminded me of. But nothing could have prepared me for the New Jeans ETA meme 20 seconds into the music video, right? So that part in the music video compared to the New Jeans meme. Heard him say, bring the drop, mama, mama. Oh, that could, you know, there's all these TikToks of like, you guys are asking me to do the most random mashups and it makes no sense. Drama and ETA. Try it out. What do you think? It reminded me of when, you know, Won Young went viral for literally falling out of a plane in the music video for Ives I Am, right? And then someone made an edit of her like just falling onto the plane wing and that also went viral. And then we saw a similar scene in Itzy's Cake. So it almost looked like Itzy was referencing Ive and now it almost looks like Espa is referencing New Jeans. Are these all intergroup references here? Or are we all just being dramatic? I'll see myself out. I digress. We get to witness a series of events throughout the music video wherein Espa are, of course, the drama. That's literally the theme of the music video, and I think they executed it 
perfectly. Espa are always the center of the drama. They're always causing the drama. We see Karina lighting a car on fire, likely an accident that she and or her members themselves caused. Winter doing a flip off of her motorcycle. Karina again doing a fighting scene in a bar. But these scenes are all interconnected in some way and I think it's very cool. It makes it so fun because we cut from one scene to another and it switches from member to member, almost like they're transforming into each other. As she's gracefully flipping into the air, as she falls down, suddenly the scene is finished by Karina. Then in that Karina fighting scene, we see she's actually fighting each of her members who very dramatically and beautifully reveal their faces after each defeat. My favorite scene, however, is probably them holding each other off of the building because we have Ning Ning holding Winter off the cliff and then we have Winter holding Karina off the cliff. And it looks like such a scene of betrayal because they end up letting each other go. But it's also so beautiful because their expressions are not what you would expect. They're literally about to be betrayed and yet they're posing beautifully like models. It's it just adds to the whole drama concept and I think it's cool. Like of course in a life-threatening situation you have to strike a pose, it's genius. Now of course that's probably the concept of most k-pop music videos, lots of face shots, lots of people striking poses, but it just hits differently in this music video I think. It just fits so much better with the title if you know what I mean. Because of course you could have a fighting scene where people are like really playing it up, really acting the part as you'd expect it to be, or being held off a cliff you could look scared, but it's just beautiful the way Karina is posing, hanging off a cliff and she's just like drama and then of course lastly very beautifully near the end we have a bunch of them in front of a red screen and we can see their silhouettes doing the choreography and just the slow movement for that last chorus's choreography was perfect for me because it's just i don't know how to explain it just like the you know it's 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 quite a busy song it's an sm song at the end of the day it's quite busy it's quite dramatic of course and then you just have the choreography which just slows everything down make it bouncy not the time or the place though when i saw the teaser for this music video was reminded of bouncy which is weird because when i heard bouncy i was reminded of savage by espa we're coming full circle <laughs> someone's gonna come for me for that listen we're allowed it's my right Listen, Espa literally gave us the green card to be dramatic with this. Oh, sh oh the comment section too. Oh, I didn't think of that. It's fine. I'm prepared. I'm ready. <laughs> Anyways, vibes impeccable. The one super like maybe irrelevant critique or maybe not a critique, just something I noticed is just how very like rectangular the music video was of course most music videos are rectangle, but this was like quite a thin rectangle like it was not girthy if that makes sense like every time i would go back to the tab where the music video was playing i kept trying to scroll down because i thought half the top of the music video was missing but overall i think it was a nice music video it reminded me of kill bill of course with the use of fighting scenes paired with the use of black and white which i don't think we see a lot in k-pop music videos i feel like it really stood out in some way but i can't really remember leave some examples below if you can remember any k-pop music videos that make use of black and white because i can only think of ever goes lottie dotty <gasps> which i was a little bit reminded of maybe because of of course the tall buildings the skylines the black and white nature of it but quite different vibes of course i remember thinking that everglows la da reminded me of sin city with those pops of color whereas drama reminds me a bit more of kill bill my favorite thing however above all else is of course the song so let's talk about that Firstly, I want to talk about the beauty of literally being able to do promotions for a song before it's even released. And I'm not talking about teasers. I'm not talking about, you know, of course, releasing the schedule or album details, all that does. I'm literally talking about fans doing the promotion of your song for you before your song's even out. Because there's no doubt that it's impactful. Of course, you released a teaser somewhere. People are reposting the teaser everywhere. People can use that sound in their TikToks and their reels and their shorts. But people can also do dance covers ahead of the dance even being revealed because maybe you revealed the chorus choreography, which is perfect for short form content right so actually yesterday before the song was even released i had already fallen in love with it i already knew the whole choreography for the chorus i could already sing along to it as well i had already basically decided that i loved the song now there's always a possibility with sm entertainment that they would they could they could always do something really weird with the verses or something to make you really to really take you out of the experience of loving the song so i was like you know prepared for that possibility but i'm like i i doubt it i you know not maya 
Vespa. But the way we're able to promote these songs before they even come out is so powerful because I had already invested so much into this teaser. I had already watched so many TikToks. I had already learned so much about the song before it even got released to the point where it would have been hard to actually hate it had there been a couple of elements here and there that took me out of the experience. You know what I mean? Like I was already invested. So if SM came and pulled like something really weird within the song, like I don't even know how, like something like sticker, okay? Like if there was like a weird instrumental that was ear piercing and made me want to throw my phone, you know, at this point, I'm like probably more willing to look past it. On that note of interesting instrumentals, the beginning instrumentals I thought were absolutely great because it, it could again it could have gone into maybe that sticker territory where it could have been a little too high pitch it could have been a little bit too much but i thought it was done quite well it was lovely despite the potential for it to go wrong which it's just on a personal level i tend to you historically not super love sm releases though some of you are going to be surprised i've been kind of interested in SM recently. I don't know if it's my newfound absolute love for Espa, Rise's debut. I'm not sure who we should credit for potentially ending this over 10 year beef. It's a little weird, this feeling. I don't know what to tell you. I've changed. I've become a more tolerant person. But anyways, I'm glad that it's like the right pitch, the, the right level of high pitch to not make me want to skip it. In fact, it's quite addictive and we even get to end the song on that note as well. And just the way the song starts off, I cannot commend, commend? What, what, what word am I looking for? I cannot praise Karina enough for that line where she literally goes, let me just play a little snippet. It's true. That hands down the best line in the entirety of the song. Perfect way to open it. Perfect way to really start it as well. I literally don't know what it means. What do you mean you're ziggy ziggy zag? It's, it's I'm new. Cause I go biggie biggie bad, it's true. I actually really love that line. Cause she goes big. And it, that's actually the truth. But Ziggy Ziggy Zag I'm New doesn't even need to make sense because it sounds so good and it actually fits super well. The Biggie Biggie Bad. I don't know. I think absolute genius. Am I praising too much? It feels unnatural. <laughs> she just really sounds so badass in that line and I can really picture it going viral. Though I am really bad at predicting what goes viral because I said there was no killing point in Wannabe. That shoulder move ended up haunting me forever. So maybe this is just something that I really love. But it just feels like one of those lyrics that are gonna be really heavily, probably not. I don't know, what do you think of that lyric? But I've been really craving this type of sound, this type of comeback from Espa. You know, as we've mentioned before, you know, they did do a concept change and I remember fighting with Mai's tooth and nail about them doing a concept change because everyone was saying like you don't understand the lore you're spreading misinformation like they defeated the black mamba what do you expect them to be in Kwanya forever and it's like kind of yeah maybe that's the concept that i love the most from aspa but people were trying to say that it wasn't a concept change with songs like spicy or better things which i think absolutely is a concept change even if it fits in the storyline it's still literally the outfits the vibe everything is different it's just with concept changes in k-pop sometimes you're damned if you do damned if you don't if you continuously do the same thing all the time people are going to complain that you always do the same thing all the time and if you change your concept people are like well i missed the old concept so there's no winning. But I think it was really fun to do those summer releases. We got to see a new side, not a new, uh, people are gonna be like, they released, um, what's the song? Okay. <laughs> they, there was a, I know they've released fluffier songs like forever. And that one song that's like at the tip of my tongue, but in terms of like that core Espa, sound and concept you think of like this darker theme. So it is really fun to go back to that. I love it. I crave it. I adore it. Let's actually take a little look into the lyrics. So we're at colorcodedlyrics.com. Espa drama. So yeah, I'm the drama. Ziggy ziggy zag, I'm new. Cause I go biggie biggie bag. It's true, bag bad. So sharp eye, inside it's toxic. Zoom in, pull on my instincts. Hold up, what? Oh my gosh, don't you know I'm a savage? You say what? You gonna get hurt? You better watch out. We already that big, tough boom, racing with that big, bad room. Boom and room definitely rhymes. I like me when I roll. I like me when I'm savage. I like me when I go. I like when I baddest. Ooh, are there some YG vibes in here? The baddest female Soul City ever had, Queen CL. Hold up, chasing lights, racing lights. Run, run, run. <gasps> Girls' Generation reference? 
You better run, 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 run. No? I'm more inclined to believe some inter-SM references rather than a YG reference, if you know what I mean. It goes bang, bang. Okay. Go finally, ratata. Open a new world, boom, tada. One, two, it's time to go. Regrets and got them. Square, square, oh my God, what? <laughs> I'm gonna get trashed in these comments. But if we're gonna go the black pink route, the toxic at the beginning, you hope okay, gay, I'm toxic. Do one thing again. D4 anyone? I'm kidding. Unless you agree. Rules, they gonna follow me. Ooh. Tap my finger and watch the world move. Yeah, I'm coming. Then of course the chorus of I bring all the drama ma 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 with my girls in the back trauma ma 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 with my world in the back it starts with me drama this seems like quite a long song how long is this song actually are espa breaking the mold of short ass k-pop songs recently three minutes and 48 seconds there was a little bit of an intro but that's still that's like a movie length almost as long as kill bill but then we get into the second verse so one two three cue that jump scare scene who's got the key Okay, I'm <laughs> looking too much into it. Main character, that's me. Four, three, two, going down, breezing. Rise <laughs> through just like deja vu. Please don't stop the video. They picture my image. Don't try to stop me. This is my drama. Pull up if you want it. Uh, I'm a stunner. Yes, you are, Ning Ning. Moving on, one, two, it's time to go. I ignite, I shine bright, feeling it, and I love it. New game, new rules. I open my eyes, game on, it's coming. If you're more familiar with the lore, let me know, but it does, I mean, they're literally saying it word for word. This is a new game. These are new rules. This is a new world. So it definitely makes me excited for what Esper are going to bring to us next. The chorus once again. Into the real world. <gasps> what a missed opportunity for into the new world. The new world that they made reference to earlier. Just, okay. Just say climax on deck. Don't be afraid. You and I stop angelina together we write the story past hurdles no more push boundaries every day oh i'm gonna make it my way out of the way yeah then i bring all the drama ma, ma, ma. ending off you know i'm savage unstoppable baddest all wrapped in thrill bumpy off-road drama i'll break this cycle of trauma it starts now so as we quoted sm earlier breaking the cycle of trauma that was caused in those SM Universe episodes, right? So they're breaking out of all of this and starting new. And I like this new sound, this new old sound, this new old Espa sound. So with that, I asked you guys on my community tab, what do you think of Espa's drama? So let's read some of the comments. I actually think this is one of their best songs ever. I was actually surprised on how well they were able to pull off this concept, and I actually think they're going somewhere with this storyline. Since it seems everything has gone to shit in the real world, and they're trying to break free from the trauma. Love the music video too, and the girls have never looked better. My only issue is that it's a bit repetitive and slows down at awkward times, but it's still really good. Solid comeback. Album of the year espa is unstoppable this year like all songs are so good the members shined equally and the music video is so epic i really like that they're exploring other concepts besides their cyberpunk concept huh looking forward to them going back to kwanya though oh i guess so it's like new espa but it's still kind of old espa like i feel like the sound is more old espa but like it's not cyberpunk anymore but i just said cyberpunk throughout the entirety of the video what did I mean then? Oh, no. It's giving all the drama. I've only listened to it once, so my opinion might change so far. I really like it. The vocals are so powerful. It honestly reminds me of girls for some reason, but I like it way better. I personally really like the direction they're going with spicy and drama, and I can't wait for the next comeback. The chorus is beautifully sung, like beautifully. I have no idea what it reminds me of, but the way they sing it is so satisfying, especially with the choreography that goes with their hands. Something about that is just so nice to hear, though I'd be lying if I said the verses weren't a bit forgettable, or maybe I might need a few more listens to adjust to it. When SM nails it, they really nail it. Such a fun song I can see myself listening to over and over. I love Dark S was so much. I've been obsessed ever since the teasers are out and the song is even better. I haven't listened to the album yet, but I know they're gonna slay. It's so good. I loved Sunmi's Tale and Everglow's La Da, and this one had similar red popping gray background aesthetic that I love. I'm not very convinced about the chorus right now. However, I think it will grow on me as almost every title they released. Love the vibe, verses and styling though. I need 
to listen to b-sides i low-key loved it loved everything the chorus could be a little less repetitive maybe the second half could be a post chorus i don't know but i'll have no problem blasting it in my car it's actually amazing i miss their techno superhero theme but this is a nice turn i'm probably gonna add the whole album to my playlist but when is their solo songs coming i need them hot air balloon was added but honestly it sounds like a red velvet song not gonna lie not trying to hate it's just my opinion the title in the first half of the mini reminds me too much of their savage comeback i was happy that they moved on with spicy and then better things their sound was so fresh for them but now they made more than a couple steps back interesting the song is quite different from what espa have done before which makes it pretty interesting however it doesn't do much for me it doesn't keep me intrigued throughout the track and stay stagnant the mv is 10 out of 10 though oh after listening to the song a couple of times i can say that i am pretty satisfied but another part of me doesn't really think it feels like espa the chorus for me is the best part of the song the verses are okay but kind of underwhelming i really enjoyed spicy and was hoping for them to follow the same route for the next comeback but instead we got something like girls overall a good comeback and excited for their future releases Oh, that's interesting. Kind of pissed Giselle didn't have a rap verse, but aside from that, the song is amazing. So that's interesting, isn't it? That some people are like, I really would have loved something more along the lines of spicy, like that concept change. And then some people are like, no, I really love Dark Espa. Dark Espa made a return and I'm so happy about it. So I'll leave you guys with that question. What do you think of this concept concept change, a concept change within a concept change? Do you prefer something more like spicy or do you like this take back? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to get going. These are the lovely individuals who help support my channel on a monthly basis on Patreon and you can as well. Everything linked below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!